Hey everybody, what's happening? Steve here from graphicdesignertips.com. This is Logo Design Bootcamp, episode number 15. If you're just joining this series, every week I build a new fictitious logo, does not exist of course, and I teach you how to build it in Adobe Illustrator with different tools so you can become a better graphic designer. So today's episode based on the letter O is a fictitious company that I have created called Only Organics. And uh, it could be either like a food store or, you know, an actual brand. Um, but it's got a lot of little tips and tricks and little different tools you're going to use in Illustrator. And I guarantee in the end, you'll become better than you came here with. So let's go. The Only Organics logo is a very well-balanced logo. That's kind of my style. I, I don't like it to be, you know, too heavy to one side or the other. Um, but I can, I can really picture this as a label slapped on, you know, like a jar or, you know, a box or just I can really picture this. Um... My color palette I chose was based on what organic really means. And, you know, you have you have water, you have it's all natural. So you have water, you have, you know, trees, the green and you have the earth, which is the the, the brown, the soil. So uh, that was my reasoning for choosing the color palette throughout the middle of this piece. Cutting through is this picture or this depiction of a leaf. And although the bottom isn't green, it knocks that other part out as, uh, you know, it's like um, almost like a plaque, you know, containing that entire logo um, and the actual grass is what comes out up here I, to depict grass and on the bottom and I made this whole area in the middle white obviously you know I continued that grass as a, as a full area of white so I could throw the actual company low uh, company name on top of it um, in the top I also kind of put these little you know things in here almost I don't know if you want to call them like you know rays of sh sunshine or just you know a little bit of a different texture I also did a, a gradient uh, of a mesh gradient mesh in here I believe that's called um, and you know to get the colors to kind of look like this which is I'm going to show you in this tutorial also so let's get into Adobe Illustrator CS6 and uh, build this thing for you all right so to give you a quick idea into my mind this is what my canvas looks like from start to finish this logo probably took me about two hours to do so it looks like my canvas had a bomb drop on it that's you know my style of working um, now we're in Adobe Illustrator CS6 and we're gonna build this bad boy real quick uh, we're gonna first start at our type tool we're gonna come up here we're gonna type in the word only organics in all lowercase G A N I X and we're gonna hit escape to get out of that selection make it larger now I'm very zoomed in right now so it's saying I'm about 164 points um, don't worry about that and we're gonna come up here and we're gonna to go to type create outlines or shift command zero O, excuse me and it's pretty cool effect in design um, if you want to separate two words you all you have to do really without adding a space to them you, you can change the color so we're gonna put a dark brown in the first one and in the second word organics we're gonna make it a light brown and it separates the two thoughts, although there's no space between them, which is pretty cool. Um, well, I also like the effect on how it's a lower, it's all lowercase. Um, it gives it a different feel. But now we're going to put that off to the side for a few minutes. And we're going to come over here to our rounded rectangle tool. And I'm just going to kind of copy what I have here. I'm going to move that over. We're making this shape right here, not the leaf yet. And... Uh, we're going to come up into our ellipse tool and make an ellipse, but don't hold the shift tool. You know, kind of stretch it out a little bit. And I'm going to put that pretty much in the middle. I'm going to eye that up. And we're going to come in here and we're going to minus, uh, we're going to unite them, excuse me. So this is one shape, and I'm going to fill it with a very light blue, a cyan. And we're going to go to shift C. We're going to copy this and we're going to paste it in back. I do this in every tutorial. Uh, I'm going to put a white stroke on that one that's in the back now, uh, a couple of points. And now I'm going to hit Shift C and Shift B again. I'm going to paste it in back of that one. So now I'm going to have three layers of this. And I'm going to turn that into a blue, the stroke. And as you make the stroke thicker, you're going to see it start to appear, which is a pretty, pretty cool thing. Um, so now if you notice that it goes from blue to brown on here. And what I'm going to do with that is I'm basically going to option, click, shift, copy that over. I'm going to take any shape or, you know, basically a rectangle and I'm going to put it over the part that I want to cut out. So now I have these two shapes. I'm going to select them. I'm going to come into my pathfinder and minus the front. I'm going to take this shape. I'm going to fill it with brown. Let's see. 
sample my old brown, and I will put this up like so. Now, what I did in the old logo, the, the finalized logo, was I made a stroke, that stroke in the back go from blue to brown. Right now it's going from blue. So if you're in CS6, the coolest thing that they implemented this year was the fact that you could put gradients on strokes. So I'm going to go over here, since this is a three layer element, I'm going to command two, I'm gonna lock that. I'm gonna to go to the next one, command two that. And then I'm now I select it again, and it's selecting my third one. If I look over here, my stroke, it's got the dark blue on it. I'm going to come into my gradient, I'm gonna pull that dark blue in, and I'm gonna pull that brown in, all right? And I'm going to set my angle for minus 90 degrees, and there you go, you have a blue stroke that goes to brown, all right? So that's something we can never do before, so I'm very happy about that. The next thing we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna create this little like sun rays right here and basically there's there's a couple of different ways i mean you can find these all over the internet for free um but i'm going to show you how to make it how i would make it really quickly uh basically take the rectangle tool and we're going to make a bunch of tall boxes and we're going to make sure it's just filled with like blue or something um and we're going to option click shift we're gonna go one we're going to keep copying these over select the whole thing copy them copy them copy them all right we're going to come to our align tools we're going to distribute them evenly horizontally so horizontal distribute center and it's going to make everything nicey nice for us and now we're going to come up here and we're going to go to effects while we have everything selected oh excuse me uh you got to group that whole selection now we're going to come up to effects we're going to go to distort and transform and go to free distort and all you got to really do is you just got to take you know, the top two points, put them to the middle. And I'm going to take these points and I'm going to pull them out. Oh, don't want to do that. Right there. Okay, now we're going to hit OK. And now we got this shape just like this. You want to definitely make sure you're coming to object and expanding the appearance because now you physically have this those shapes just like so. Okay, so now we're going to... Um, we're going to... Copy this over, this blue, and we just take the stroke of it, of it for now. Actually, excuse me. I just had I just selected the background. Come up here and go to unlock wool. That's what you want to do. You want to grab this blue right here. You want to copy it over, and just like we did with the brown before, we're gonna do it with the blue. We're going to minus the front and cut that shape out using the pathfinder minus front. So now we have this blue shape we're gonna use as a clipping mask, and we're gonna clip this within that. So basically, we're going to take this, make it a little bit smaller, the selection. I'm gonna put it on top of here. And um, before I make that clipping mask, let's put a gradient of black to white. I mean, you can really do anything, but you'll see what this does pretty cool. Um, all right, so we got the gradient of, um, if I pull out to the front, you'll see what's happening here. But the gradient, all right, dark on the bottom. And you know, you just wanna mess around with this and see what you come up with. Um, we're gonna select both of these elements, right click or come up to object, uh, object, object, clipping mask, make, or command seven on the keyboard. And uh, actually, you know, you gotta make sure that the blue box is on top of the selection. So go to Object, Arrange, Send, Bring to Front, and now select them, or right click, Make Clipping Mask, or Command 7. And now we have this clipping mask, and we're gonna lay it right over here like so. And we're gonna come up in here, and this is where you, you can have some fun and mess around with the transparency. I think I did an overlay, all right? And basically what I did was, I think I came down to like 50, 20%, something like that. Um, you know, you can mess around with this all night long. Uh, if you want to mess around with these rays, you technically have to release the clipping mask, make these, you know, whatever shape that you want them to be. All right, and then make that clipping mask again. All right, let's see, move that down. Then overlay it. So, uh, what did I do here? 
I did something. But let me back up and get it to where I was before. So that's something you guys could play with. Um, now we basically have that entire background shape. Now we got to make this leaf that's coming through. And it's there's a lot of ways you can do this, but you know I'll show you a pretty simple way. Uh, first, you want to make an ellipse and fill it with black so you can see what's going on. And we're going to go to Command-2 to lock that. Next, we're going to come up to our pen tool. We're just going to freehand one, two, three. We're making a triangle, okay? And we're now going to go to hit the plus sign on the keyboard or come up here and find the add anchor point tool. And we're going to do one, two points. And with the with the direct selection or hitting A on the keyboard, we're going to now manipulate those points. And now we have manipulated those points, but it looks kind of funny. It looks like a witch's hat. So we want to now go to Shift C and get the Convert Anchor Point tool, and it's going to unwind that. You got to unwind it manually, just like so. And you're going to do that on both sides. All right. Cool. And you know this logo, like I said, this logo took about an hour and a half, two hours at least. So um, you know, kind of mess around until you get to where you want it to be. This should be a little fatter on the bottom. All right, something like that. Okay. Um, now we're going to now remember we locked this a, a few minutes ago. We're going to come up to Object Unlock Wall, and now we're going to select both of these. Come to the Pathfinder and hit Unite, and we are going to curve this a little bit and throw it into the exact spot we really want it. So you know, scale it to where you want it. Okay. All right, now we are going to come up here and make a rectangle and we're going to cut off basically anything in the middle of this. We basically want to cut half of that off because we don't want it showing through the bottom. And same thing with the Pathfinder minus front. And um, now we're going to come up here and we're going to go to Command C and Command B and to make this little stroke that separates it from the back and we're going to add white on the stroke. Add a couple points to that, and you'll see it's going to start popping off of that a little bit. All right. Cool. Uh, we'll color this in. Um, actually, you no, know, we'll color this in now. Um, make this a light green in your fill. And then basically, what you want to do is you want to now Command C and Command F. It pastes it in front. Now, we're going to come up to our gradient mesh tool or U on the keyboard mesh tool. And we're going to click here and we're going to change it to, um, well, first make sure that top selection is black. And we're going to come up to our gradient mesh tool. You know, the only reason that just happened is sometimes it automatically changes it black when you use the mesh tool at first. And we're going to click this right here and we're going to put a, uh, a lighter green. We're going to go once, twice. Okay. And let's see what effect I did here on it. I did an overlay. So now we're going to come up to our transparency and we're going to turn that into an overlay. And that, if you take that away, basically it took this green and it turned it into this, which is pretty cool. And, uh, you know, it just gives it the shadowy type of, type of look. Um, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to make the grass. And basically this is an element that I, that I, uh, I found on the internet. So, um, as, if I fill this in, you guys can see it. Let's fill it with red. But uh, it's actually really pretty simple. It's just taking the pen tool and having some fun, uh, making points, and then you know coming down with the point, and then going a little bit higher, you know, like so. Uh, I just kind of did that really quick. But you know that grass can be made very quickly, and I just don't want this tutorial to be an hour long. And I'm going to fill that with white, and I'm going to make sure they're grouped. So Command G them, and I'm going to overlay that on top of everything. Go to Object, Arrange, Bring to Front, and it's supposed to span the entire piece without going over that other stroke on the outside. I don't want this happening. All right, so make sure that doesn't happen. And uh, now we're going to Command. C, Command, F, paste in front. And we're just going to take this point right here. We're going to flip it upside down. Okay. And uh, maybe nudge it up a little bit just to make sure nothing appears right in the middle. 
and uh, we need to stretch that out a little bit more because we got to get our company name in there. Maybe move this up a little bit. See, this is what I didn't want happening that in the middle. Okay, and uh, now we're going to. It still isn't enough. I got to make that a little bit higher. All right. All right. Basically, just going to take all these whites. Because I want to keep stretching the vector out. It's going to look funky after a little while. All right, so now I got that. And um, obviously, this needs to be tweaked. Because you, you see what's going on here. It, it looks like it flattens out. So um, at this point, you can, you know, it's three layers deep. So, uh, you know, you might you want to make sure that everything's unlocked. Hit your direct selection on that point because it's going to move all three of those layers with the stroke and all. So, um you want to kind of get it to where it's more of a circle like so that's fine and uh, we're gonna take that only organics and we're going to put that back in here all right we're gonna go send it to the front bring it to the front and we're it's kind of just floating in there so what you want to do is you want to get command C command B paste them back put a white stroke on it and a bunch of points on there and now it stands out from that selection. The last thing I did was right since 1884, just a, you know, a random year. So uh, you can throw that on top. And uh, obviously, it doesn't. It, it looks similar to what I did, but you know, it's this is really for you guys to work on and understand how I built it. So you can mess around, like you know, with this background, um, the blue, these little rays, and all that, and then you know, the shape of the leaf. Oh, the last thing actually I did not do is the middle of the leaf. And you want to do that by taking the pen. Making a nice little shape right here. One, two, no more than I guess three or four points. I'm gonna fill it with white. And let's see. And that's it on that. So that is the only organics logo in Adobe Illustrator CS6. Alright, so I hope you guys learned something in episode number 15. Um, we're more than halfway through the series, so I'm, you know, I'm happy I'm helping you all out. Definitely leave comments below. Let me know how this helped you and what you're going to be able to do from this video to implement into your own work. Would love to know. And uh, share this video out, definitely. If you felt that that helped you, it's, it's definitely going to help another graphic artist out there. Um, subscribe to our channel by clicking this button right here. And here are a couple of the episodes from the uh, series. So that's it, everybody. I'll be back here next Sunday with another episode of Logo Design Bootcamp. Any ideas for that episode? It's based on the letter P. So uh, I kind of sort of have an idea from, uh, in my mind. But uh, if you have any ideas of themes, definitely shoot them below and I'll totally consider them. So everybody have an awesome night. Peace.